Casper Rams. Welcome back to Arcnea Reviews, where I'm once again actually looking at something very new, because technically this figure is not out yet. It's supposed to come out at Target uh, the first of the year. But today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers, War for Cybertron, Kingdom, Cyclonus. And, uh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I love this figure. <laughs> this thing is so good, so cool. Um, as you can see, it is Cyclonus's classic, uber pointy looking, mean spaceship with the inverted wings. Such a good version of this character. I love it. Um, the the one weirdness that we'll uh, get into more here is you can see these panels are painted a slightly different purple. Now, yes, I know, back here is different color, too. This is on purpose. This is a different plastic. It is a design cue of the G1 original, you know, animation model and everything that, you know, his thrusters slash hands are a slightly different purple than the rest of him. That all makes sense. This doesn't, and we'll get into that later. Um... You also will never get these panels to, like, completely line up. And I do believe that's intentional. Um, I'm actually going to pull out the box shot for this guy in a bit. Something I, like, never do. Um, he does also come with his gun. Um, blast effect compatible, because of course it is. Um, it is molded in a purple, similar to him. But then painted this... I don't know if it shows on the camera, but this is like, it's a whiter silver than we normally get. That's the best way I know to explain it. It's a whiter silver. Um, it looks really great in person, though. Um, an interesting thing here, your only storage options for it, really, unless you want to be, like, you know, ridiculous and plug it into a thruster, is you, know, you can drop it, <laughs> or... You know, you can plug it on the underside of the wing or plug it right up here on the top of the cockpit. Going to the box shot, like I said I was going to, on the render, they're plugging it in like way back there. There's nothing to plug into back there. So, I don't know what's up with that. Um, you can also see in the render, these panels match. So, I don't know, that's a thing, you know, clearly, again, you can see the thrusters being a different color, intentional, yes, my box got a little messed up in transit, but who cares, figure was fine, and you can kind of see that, yes, these panels true do truly just not line up 100%, so, you know, this is, again, intentional, but... I don't know what's up with the color, and I just find it funny in general that they're showing an imaginary, non-existent peg hole back here. But, all that aside, let's go ahead and transform him. Go ahead, fold up the landing gear. Transformation on this guy is incredible, by the way. Um, go ahead, unpeg the thrusters from the sides of the jet. At least on mine, these peg in incredibly tight, so you have a very solid jet mode, which is nice. Go ahead and slightly bend down what's about to become the legs, just to get them unpegged from the back there. Go ahead, split them from each other. And then you're just going to rock out and extend the knee on its double hinge. Uh, the way the knees work on this is kind of weird. So you end up with kind of this extra little bar in there. So you can either, you know, shift it back, have him as maximum, you know, tall as you can. I like to keep it in the middle there, which I think is what you're supposed to do. But either way, get this shifted out. Rest it about in the middle. Come to the back here, fold this panel out. Fold this up, bring out the foot, close that up, fill in the calf, same thing over here, open, foot, fold, calf, 
Um, go ahead and take these panels, shift them all the way up on this double hinge, just to get them out of the way for now. And while this isn't an official step or anything, I find the transformation here is easier to do. If you take this section, you're going to just rotate it part way back like that to keep as, this uh, hinge as completely exposed as you can. And then turn the legs to that side since they provide a little more clearance than his main crotch piece does. Then you're going to split these panels either side of what's about to be the chest. You might have to uh, move the arms and stuff to get the clearance here, but eventually you'll get this all to open up. Fold it out flat to get the head out and get better access to this, as well as keep it in shot. Um, and yeah, getting the head with these massive horns out is the reason that it's so hard to keep, you know, get this folded out far enough for the clearance. And before you ask why I didn't just go the other way, um, it, it usually has just as many issues trying to go that way as it does this way. So... Again, putting the hips to the side helps. But either way, go ahead, open this panel up, fold up the tip of the nose, close it up, open up this section, take this piece back on a double hinge, fold it up, and uh, make sure you keep the landing gear folded up as well can go either direction. Go ahead and bring this all up, lock it together, finish spinning this around, close these panels up, finish bringing the back section cockpit around, straighten out the torso, bring these forward, tab them in to the sides of the chest, the arms in place, Untab the arms from the wings, fold up this little fin, wing is on a double hinge, we'll fold to the back of the arm, like that, open up the forearm, rotate out the hand. Same thing over here. See if I can actually remember what direction to do this. And there you have Cyclonus in robot mode. And this is such a good version of Cyclonus. Like, oh my gosh, I love this thing. As you can see, really nice color, uh, coloring all over him. Darker purple there in the kneecaps, metallic purple on the outside of the kneecaps, which kind of matches the color of plastic used for the forearms. So again, this color is intentional. This, it's technically intentional, but I don't know why. Um, clear plastic in the chest. While it's a little tricky to get enough uh, light to show, he does... That is a dead flashlight I just grabbed. That's going to be so helpful. Um, he, he does actually have light piped eyes that work very well when you're not using, you know, really harsh LED lamps to shine on the front. Um, very minimally intrusive. Uh, I'm going to call that a light piping crystal from now on. But yeah, you know, it, it doesn't even like really mess with his head at all. As you can see, very, very clean transformation. You know, there's just the wings on the back of his arms, and that even is, you know, a thing in the character design. So, yeah, this thing's this thing's kind of spectacular. Um, but yeah, again, you've got the mismatch here on the chest. Here on the box, you can see, not 
mismatched. Not on any design of this character that I've been able to find is there that mismatch. I don't know what's up with that. And it's an intentional mismatch. Because as you can see in here, the plastic it's molded out of is a matching plastic. So they made it match less. Why? I, I don't get it. That aside though, still fantastic figure. Head is on a ball joint, so you get some wiggles, some up and down. And then the neck itself is also a hinge, so you can go more down or more up, depending. Um, full rotation at the shoulders. Elbows go all the way, or shoulders go all the way out. There is even a little bit of an uh, armpit filler there. That's what I'm looking for. Um, swivel at the bicep. 90 degree bend at the elbow. Um... He does have very tight wrist rotation as well. Swivel at the hips. Kicks forward. Kicks back. Full splits. Thigh swivel. Really deep knee bend because of that weird double jointed uh, just assembly there. Ankle tilt. A little bit of foot back and forth. Uh, more forth than back. Just overall such an impressive looking figure easily one of the best things I have seen in a long time uh, yeah I have to say while we don't get many figures of Cyclonus the ones we get are pretty pretty freaking spectacular go ahead and actually give him his gun here which nice detailing but they bothered to you know Keep in mind the angle of the forearms and everything and mold it to fit. I shouldn't be giving them credit for that. You know, that's just kind of figure design 101. But I've gotten a lot of Transformers where they didn't think about that. And you get figures that strain my voice and make it so they can't hold, hold their own gun. Which is stupid. They actually thought about it here, though. Yay. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, this thing is absolutely fantastic. I love the way it transforms. I love just how poseable it is, how clean it is. You know, especially if you're a Jobby the Hong Watcher or something, and the whole Back Lives Matter <laughs> is view on figures. This figure will make you happy, Jobby. This thing has a clean back. So... Yeah, th this thing's supposed to be at Target here, uh, the first. Um, I know that some places have been sending out their pre-orders and stuff early, so you might be able to get it a couple days early, depending on where you go. But, if you collect Transformers in any way, shape, or form, this thing is completely worth getting. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, next video coming up here will actually be my top 20 figures of 2020. So, hopefully that will be coming out on New Year's Eve. But, it's 20 mini reviews. It might take me a little bit longer. We'll see. Anyway, thank you guys, and I will see you next time.